Hi people, this is Gio over on table and Gio's Real World. And today will be Batman 145 to 147, which is Dark Prison, part one, two, and three. Now I took this cover here, and I like it because then you have another cover over here. So now it's another, uh, anyways, another big story of the continuation. And the writer is Chip Zadarsky. And there's three artists in, in these three books, okay? One, the main one is George uh, Gimnez. If I pronounce it, you know I don't pronounce it good, right? Then the other artist is Miguel Bandini. And the other one is Miguel Men Mendonca. If I pronounce it good too, of course. They can call me. So anyways, this one here is about the robot uh, with Zer and the fail-safe, fail the robot there and all that. Look, I like this one here. I mean... I was very, very critical of the, the from the 142 to 144 because it bothered me. It didn't it was it's gonna, you know when people make great stories and then somebody has to rechange it again. It's like why just add a little bit more spice to it and continue it, especially when it's well done. But so far, like if if, if, if that the three joker didn't exist, man, I'll be in cloud nine. From, from from 142 until now, very well done. The, the logical, the thinking. Um, I like his philosophy, the way he thinks, Daniel Captillo, how he wants to master the mind, how he wants to bring the villains to the next level. So now it's example, like, you have the uh, the Riddler, like, he's bringing Trent to, to the next level. Because Riddler, before, he's like, it was like a, he ended up becoming like a joke. So now... What's, what how's the new rhythm is gonna be? You know? Because you have the, the other one, uh oh the scary guy there. Anyways, forget about what uh scarecrow, there you go. And they brought him to the next level a couple of months ago. So might as well do the, the, the original villains and bring them to the next level, but in a in a smart, realistic way. And he's doing a great job right now with this thing. You know, it's it's about Batman being in prison with the Joker. And he's half burned, but he ends up escaping, uh, making it more difficult. Thank, thanks to punchline, she made it more and more difficult as it is. And I always bothered me, punchline. How come she's an amazing fighter when she's just a normal person before? So that's 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 one thing I didn't like about that part. Anyways, so now they're in, they were in Blackgate, and Daniel C Captillo, he's the the warrant of, the, of that place. So then you have Val Vandal Savage, you know, he's becoming a police commissioner. And failsafe or that Batman there uh, took the bullet for him. Was it all rigged in a sense? We'll figure it out later on. Plus, the last issue, 145, 147, you have the new Batman costume. So for now, it's like, yeah, I'll see. Like, you don't see it that well. Like, is it two tone or is it, or is it you know, the, the, the armor and everything? We'll figure it out later on. You know? So it's for now, it's like, uh -huh. and oh yeah, there's Miss Walder in there. So there's a lot of good stories in here. Oh yeah, and there's also the, it's, it's a, there's a lot of, oh yeah, because it's well done. And there's a there's a big conversation with Failsafe Batman with Superman and the the conversation. See, look, Failsafe or Zer, right? I like that Batman more. It makes sense. It's like enough is enough. I mean, me myself is three strikes you're out bang that that's it how many times do you have you have to re-damage or reopen the wound kind of sense you know and now you have also damien he got now i don't know because i thought you put him in, in, a, in a capsule for to, to put him to sleep but then there's, a, there's another robin a different costume did he played his mind but then, then how did he change the costume so fast without me knowing it you know so that's to me is like I'm trying to figure out until the next issue. Here is the thing that bothers me the most in this thing of the the so far. It's these bloody robots. It to me, it's like it ends up becoming too much like the world finest with Superman and Batman against Brainiac because all these robots. It's like uh, Kelix of Superman. They're flying. They're gliding through the sky. The guardsmen of of the Blackgate uh, prison. Um, same thing with Failsafe. All things do with the fingers that like can stretch and, and 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 wrap you around. It's like these are high techs. I mean, as much as Batman or Bruce Wayne or Wayne Enterprise, where you want to prefer, has technology. This is to the next level, you know. 
amazed and all kind of, yeah, but it's like I know how to open a TV. I know how to fix a couple of things. Can I can I do a TV from A to Z from scratch? No. So same thing with Bruce Wayne. You get a technology from somebody else, like, like I guess it's like a TV, and then oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it my own. Te- I'm gonna make technology. I'm gonna be more more better. Bad, bad. No, you can't. There's a certain limit to limitations. You don't have you don't have the technology, advanced technology to advance certain technology. Like Brignac, he could. Lex Lex would not even him to the boundary of what failsafe is able to do. And then these these security guards, they're floating through the skies and everything. So yeah, jetpack. They're they are, they're like they're floating like like I said, like Kelix. Because they, they, they're almost like the technology of the Kryptonians, kind of sense. So the whole point is that like if they're lent by Superman, I understand. But Batman to create himself, saying he's that much of a G, nah. That's where I draw the, the line. That's where it should have stopped. They should have made it more a bit more realistic. You know, like that probably got a bit too much like Brainiac influence kind of sense. So that's it. But overall, I'm enjoying this book. Like I want to buy my comics. I wanted to see if 148 is a continuation or not because it, but it wasn't this week, so I'm like, damn, so I got, had to do it. So, a great read. I mean, uh, when you, you, you see I'm pissed off, I'm pissed. This one here, I got my money's worth. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a no-brainer, this, this story. So, that's it. So, subscribe, press, press like, give me your opinions. No, stop giving my opinions how I pronounce. I know I pronounce badly. I know. But I'm trying to get better. So that's it. So I hope you guys like me. Give me your comments and everything. So Gio out. Ciao, guys.